We of course still in Guanmin district and this is called the Huang family ancestors hall. And it's a place with a lot of history, with many years of history, around 800. You know, like the smell, the texture, the colors, the people who live here, they also have something special, uh, a special, very nice vibe that I would like to experience. Um, they probably have shops, uh, restaurants, they have all the services you need. And actually I was coming here and I saw a community center right next to this place where you have all kind of uh, facilities for the people who live around here. They have libraries, you have a gym, you have an event uh, place, you know, to organize meetings and events. I'm also making a video on my own because I have a YouTube channel and I have a Billy Billy channel where I show my experiences and my perspective of the city itself. Actually, not just in general, but many other cities. So I'm also interested in making some content and show the world what is Guangming about, what it will happen here. Um, there are many areas, many new buildings, many new structures, and many new projects that will happen here. And I'm very interested on in making this content and also show, of course, the people in my channel, all my subscribers, that are following very closely what is happening here in China. The whole country is going through a huge change. And of course, uh, documenting that process in Guangmin District is also very exciting for me. We are right now at the Guangmin Exhibition Center. This is one of the first places we're visiting here in uh, Guangmin District. And this is actually the kind of places I like to visit a lot because you see all the plans and all the projects the city is planning for the city in the future. So you can see a lot of pictures and maps and models behind. We have a very beautiful model of the Guangmin District. And you can see here in this wall, for example, uh, what is the plan for the 2025 and 2035 year. I'll show you here, we have kind of like a museum or a display of uh, handmade articles made of wood. So we have like little spoons like this that are so beautiful. Wow, this is really awesome. I'll show you. You can see the two birds are kissing here and then you have the heart shape in the middle. Oh my gosh, and you see we have also like historical pieces of art here. This is more than 100 years old. So we are in another amazing place. This is Komu Xiaocheng. I'm still getting there with my Chinese, but this is a nice place because it's uh, very bright. You can see a lot of lights, a lot of people, even though it's weekday. And we're crossing right now in a structure made of wood. Actually, that's the name of this place in, in Chinese, Redwood City. We're gonna check some uh, pieces of art made of redwood as well, which is the material they use to make most of the furniture and the pieces of art here in this place. So let's go with me and take a look. Like you have a lot of tools and depending on how tricky the design is, you need to use uh, different kind of tools. Some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller. I just did a couple because it's quite tricky, it's not that easy. So I did a job, I don't know if it's good, but I tried. Now you can know this is not only a brand new city, this also have many old treasures about the ancient culture that you can admire and enjoy here in Shenzhen. We are already in the Red Bridge Park, a famous place where people come here to make videos, to take pictures. And the attractive part is the color of the, of the bridge. As you can see, it's like very strong red that makes a huge contrast with the greenery around. I feel after having the chance to come to Guangming, I get to know my city better. And I say my city because I believe I'm one more of uh, Shenzhen people. I am part of this city and having the chance to come here allowed me to get to know the city much better and much deeper. I feel more uh, with more and better knowledge about Shenzhen and the surrounding areas and the new developments, the new plans, the new projects that are coming in the future that will make uh, Shenzhen as a model city for the rest of the world.